How's it going, everybody? This is Dr. No from the XCore forums. I want to show everybody that there has been a little bit of progress made on creating an XMOS dip. Um, what we have here is Corin's uh, schematic and parts list, but my board layout. I want to try my hand at creating a PCB and actually sending it um, off. I used uh, Seed Studio and it was actually pretty cheap. Um, so, anyway, what we have here is the XMOS. Uh, L1 single core um, XMOS processor. We have some various uh, voltage regulating components on the right side. Um, if we move over here, the silvery thing you see there, that is the 25 megahertz oscillator. And then at the edge of the board, we have a 4 megabit um, SPI flash. Um, I've connected the board to an array of red LEDs, basically using Corin's um, XC program to show that the uh, XMOS is responsive and can output. Um, a binary uh, timer which can be displayed over the LEDs. I have the uh, XTAG uh, headers connected up to my um, XTAG2 and then I have uh, an external voltage source which runs through um, this LM317 and uh, potentiometer so I have a variable voltage source sourcing about 3.3 three uh, 3 .3 volts to the board. So just show you just to show you that it works um, what we have here is the command prompt, a little bit hard to see. Typing in xrun-l, we show that the, um, the x tag is uh, found, um, and it has an L1 uh, with one core connected to it. So if we want to use Corin's um, XC program, um, basically this is just a, a binary counter. Um, it, like he says, it uh, writes a binary pattern to the LEDs. I can go ahead and hit the uh, play button up here. And as you can see here, we have a binary counter on some red LEDs. So basically, I just want to show you guys um, that there is progress being made on creating this uh, XMOS dip. Um, from here, I'm going to refine the board a little bit, make it a little bit thinner. As you can see, it really is coming to the edge of... Uh, one of my rows, so I'm going to try to cut that down. The um, the reason it's so thick on one size because I messed up. It's my first PCB I've ever uh, sent off to a fab house. So I'm going to try to thin the board um, width-wise. I'm going to try to thin it down a little bit. Um, I'm going to create a uh, method for stacking or connecting these boards together. Uh, and then I'm actually going to go on to create an uh, XSL2, or excuse me, XS1-L2 um, XMOS dip board. Um, so I'll try to keep you guys updated and let you know how everything's going. If you have any questions, please just go ahead and post them down in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching.